So, as you be over here. So we're starting looking at a switch today. So a switch is a, is a pretty classic wrestling move. Um, it's, where I, it's where I first picked it up. It's from, from my, my wrestling coach, um, Paul. You guys met Paul very briefly, the one that you came in and taught wizard stuff. Um, the wizard is a very underutilized, I mean, the, not the wizard, the, the switch is a very underutilized position in jiu-jitsu. A lot of opportunities open up to use it, um, but there's not a lot of jiu-jitsu guys that, that teach it enough for, it to be, for, uh, for most people to see the opportunity to use it. The stuff I've been playing with, and I have a lot of fun with it and a lot of success with it, so it's going to feel goofy when you first look at it, um, but it's going to accomplish the same thing as your arm drag. It's just going to do it in a little different way. So we're going to start with the, uh, with the Kimura switch, because you guys actually did this in the Kimura module. So I'm sitting up, I get a Kimura here. Now as I'm trying to step back to finish it, Andy pulls it between his body, locks his hand together, here. He's locking his hand between us, all right? So I'm gonna get up on my elbow, see how my legs are open. Now this hand is gonna reach between Andy's legs and cup the inside of his thigh here, okay? This is, this is where a lot of switches are gonna come. Normally, normally a switch, um, one of the more classic switches, Andy's got, Andy's got, dumped, Andy's got a, like a body lock on me here. Body lock, yeah, where'd he go? This guy's a switch here. He use this. And use that to start coming up and out. Okay? I, I'm not nearly dynamic enough to do that. I feel like I'm breaking my arm. So this is kind of halfway through what a, what a wrestler switch would be. A lot of times they're facing away. So I'm here on the Kimura. Hands are forward between our, between our bodies to, to, to uh, defend. He's going to reach between his legs, up the inside of his thigh here. Look where my elbow is. My elbow is in his armpit. It's really important. My elbow can't be out here. I'm starting to like, arm bar myself. Elbow nice and deep, I'm putting a lot of pressure and I'm leaning into it here. So I post my hand, I'm going to hip escape, pop my hips this way, as I throw my back towards his upper back, pull on his leg and drag my elbow. So kind of doing a little bit of an arm drag motion and I'm making my switch here. Here. Now from here I can pull my arm out, set a hook, take his back. So when you guys first start doing that, give your partners a lot of space. This, just like with any move, as soon as you start punching the space and making more pressure, it's very difficult to do it. So you guys start, start nice and open here. You guys, you grab your hands together, reach through, cup this out of this hamstring here, nice and tight. Post my hand, hop my hip this way, towards my hand. I'm not hopping backwards, I'm going sideways. And as I hop, I push and drag my elbow. Here, sometimes taking a couple, I start going. I'm trying to get my chest on his upper back as soon as possible. I pull that hand out, come up. Lock my hands. So let's do a little less space. Get this arm trap. Get this score. Start coming up. Get inside here. Come up. All right? So the key details are get the elbow in that, that armpit. You're pushing towards it as you're hipping. You're trying to throw your back on top of his chest. You throw your chest on top of his back. First, yeah. Throw your chest on top of his back because you're kind of hipping out. And that's going to let that make that arm clear. Basically, you force him to limp arm. You guys know what a limp arm is? Yeah. Danny's, Danny's wizard in me here. A limp arm is when I do this. Pull it out. I'm basically forcing Andy to do that with this wizard pressure. It kind of starts folding his arm like this. It makes him weak. And that basically accomplishes, it basically accomplishes, accomplishes, it's been a long week, guys. It accomplishes what an arm drag would. It gets that arm across my body. Okay? Gives me the back to his back. Does that make sense? So remember what I said, start out with, with quite a bit of space with your partner before you start crunching it up and making them really work for it. Let them feel the movement in the easiest way and then make it more difficult as you guys get more comfortable. We'll look at another way to do this next. Yeah, one more time. Nora, what's an encore? Everybody close your eyes. Andy's grabbing his hands here. He's locking up nice and tight. He's going to reach close my hands. He's swinging his legs. Top of the back of his thigh here. As I start to hit out and push my chest towards the back and pull me in. Here. Here. Okay. Arm nice and bent, nice and strong. Okay. Let's play with that, guys. 